Hmm. Hello, greetings, everybody. My name is James. I am from the internet. And today we are going to be talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, she's a fun one, that Marjorie Taylor Greene. If you don't know who she is, I mean, obviously you don't watch the news and yet you're watching me, so that's kind of strange. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is the freshman Republican congressional representative from Georgia's 14th district. She has a rather unique perspective and outlook, shall we say, on uh, current politics and goings on in the world. Now, most recently, uh, the House voted to strip her of her committee assignments. It was a full House vote, included every single Democrat and a handful of Republicans. So today she announced she was going to have a press conference. I thought we would cover it. But first, I want to get everybody up to speed on exactly who she is and what she's all about. I'm going to go really fast because this is 10 pounds of poo I'm trying to stick in a five pound bag. So buckle up. Here we go. Marjorie Taylor Greene's history of dangerous conspiracy theories and comments as put together by verified YouTube partner CNN. Green repeatedly indicated support for executing prominent Democratic politicians, including Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, John Kerry, as well as FBI agents back in 2018 and 2019 before being elected to Congress. She also created a White House petition to impeach Pelosi for treason after Pelosi didn't vote to fund Donald Trump's border wall. She also wrote a press release and a blog post promoting the petition and suggested that Pelosi could be executed for treason. Green also previously encouraged protesters to flood the Capitol and endorse political violence to defend freedom. Quote, the only way you get your freedom back is if it's earned with the price of blood, she said in a video. Before she ran for Congress, Green embraced a violent fringe conspiracy. Chief among them was one called something that rhymes with the words Pumamon, because YouTube doesn't like when you say certain words now. A discredited conspiracy that pits former President Trump in an imagined battle against the cabal of Satan worshiping, child abusing Democrats and celebrities. None of them were Republicans. Whew. Then there's this one here that I assume YouTube isn't going to let me say. So just hit pause for a moment and read this paragraph and then we'll continue. You got all that? Good. Green also peddled the Pizzagate conspiracy, which alleges that Hillary Clinton and other Democratic Party leaders are running a human trafficking and pedophilia ring out of a pizzeria in Washington, D.C. In a blog post, she suggested that the white supremacist rally held in 2017 in Charlottesville, Virginia, that killed one woman was, quote, an inside job to further the agenda of the elites. She means the Jews. In 2018, she questioned whether the Parkland shooting that killed 17 people was a planned event and called Parkland survivor and activist David Hogg a paid actor. In a recently serviced video from 2019, Green follows Hogg around as he walks towards the U.S. Capitol and can be heard making false and baseless claims as she asks him a series of questions related to gun rights and how he was able to meet with senators. Hogg continues to walk without addressing Green. At the end of the video, Green calls Hogg a coward and claimed Hogg's activism was funded by billionaire philanthropist. George Soros. The Jews. In another video, she said Hogg was an idiot who only talks when he is scripted. Green also supported Facebook comments in 2018 that alleged the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting that killed six adults and 20 children was a staged event. She mused on Facebook whether the 2017 Las Vegas massacre, the deadliest mass shooting in the history of the United States of America, was part of a massive conspiracy to enact gun control. After live bombs were sent to Democratic politicians and CNN in October of 2018, Green repeatedly liked and agreed with multiple comments that the terrorist act was a, quote, false flag operation staged by Democrats. In one little-remembered Facebook post from September 2018, Green claimed that the mythological figure who we'll call Pew, because we're not allowed to say that letter, whom Green had previously called a patriot, warned of false flags in school shootings. She then questioned if a shooting at Kennesaw State University in Georgia was a failed op. What about hearing voices, mental illnesses, demon possession, or military-grade intelligence-developed weapons like Voice of God technology? Huh? Couldn't it have been any of that? We don't know, but I do believe all of those exist. Green has also spent years engaged with extreme anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim rhetoric. Some of her favorite targets include Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, and Barack Obama, who Green also thinks is a Muslim. Quote, these are women that really would like to see Sharia in America. 
And as an American woman and a business owner and as a mother, I have two daughters. I never want to see Sharia in America. So I really want to go talk to these ladies and ask them what they're thinking and why they're serving our American government. They really should go back to the Middle East if they support Sharia. So let's go talk to them. I definitely want to go talk to them. In another video from 2019, Green spoke about going into Omar and Tlaib's offices and saying that all Muslims want to take away women's rights. Quote, did you see the part where we went into Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib's office, Green said? I was like, so you're going to make me live under Sharia law? And I'm an American woman. Are you going to take away my equal rights? They do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. They they are all those Muslims. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the goal of Islam. The goal of Islam is Sharia. And they want to conquer. They want to conquer America. And we're not going to do it. For the record, Marjorie Taylor Greene 1000% supports whatever the Christian version of Sharia law is. So she's not against extreme religious beliefs. She's just against extreme religious beliefs that don't match her extreme religious beliefs. But please, let's continue. Green directed anti-Muslim rhetoric at the American Muslim Women Political Action Committee in 2018. Quote, what the fuck is their mission? To make sure every woman is dominated by Islam, is covered in sheets, loses our freedoms, and has to have our vaginas mutilated? She wrote in a 2018 Facebook post. Green then liked to comment that the PAC was an invasion of our government. In another instance, Green liked to comment saying, we don't need gun control, we need Muslim control. In another post from 2018, Green wrote a theory that the deadly wildfires in California that year were caused by a laser from space, possibly controlled by the Rothschild Investment Bank. The Jews. Now, let's get you caught up on what happened. Representative Marjorie Taylor Green has responded publicly for the first time since the House of Representatives voted to expel her from committees over her previous conspiracy theories and comments. The entirety of the Democratic caucus was joined by 11 Republicans to strip her from committee assignments on Thursday night. At issue were many outlandish conspiracy theories and calls for violence on elected officials that she has made in the past and which she has still refused to publicly rebuke, at least in a manner that would satisfy members of both Democratic and Republican members of Congress. Green initially responded to the political dramas for the curious House floor speech in which she alleged that the media were somehow just as guilty as the Puamam conspiracy and blamed others for allowing her to believe completely bonker theories like Jewish space lasers. After all that, Taylor Greene responded to her sudden role as political media lightning rod in a predictably combative and dare say Trumpian manner featuring the old best defense is a good offense tactic. Taylor Greene woke up on Friday morning, tweeted this out, quote, I woke up literally laughing, thinking about what a bunch of morons the Democrats, plus 11 Republicans, are for giving someone like me free time. In this Democrat tyrannical government, conservative Republicans have no say on committees anyway. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is what she posted just before she went off to go to the press conference that she called to give her reaction to the world about being stripped of her committee assignments. Now I'm going to warn you ahead of time, this speech was so far off the rails, even Matt Getz responded to it. I wanna bring you back in here. First of all, just your top line reaction to that. Bravo, Marjorie Taylor Greene. That was so good, I almost had to smoke a cigarette afterwards. Uh, this is the part of the show where I tell you that I now truly believe that there is no God and uh, I can neither never unsee nor unhear that. And I hate you all for making me do this for a living. Okay, so here she is, the woman of the hour. And here are her poignant, salient comments that she would like to make to the rest of the world to let them know about her. Well, first off, thank you all for, uh, thank you for coming out here today and being willing to hear what I have to say. Um, I just want you to know that for the press, I, I truly support freedom of press. I think it's one of the things that makes our country so great. And um, I really hope that you'll be able to tell my story a little bit better instead of just reporting and repeating uh, maybe some things that you don't like about me or things that were on social media in 2018. As just an ordinary American, someone who's had to work hard all my life, someone who's been married for almost 25 years and raised three kids. And I gotta tell you, my three kids are 
the greatest part of my life. Quick break here to let you know in this 20 minute press conference, Marjorie Taylor Greene let the press know on nine separate occasions that she's a mother, on eight separate occasions that she is a wife, and on more than a dozen occasions referred to oh, her Lord and Master. I really love our country, I love our freedoms, and I sincerely want all of your children, my children, and all of us to continue to have the opportunity to have the American dream. Except Muslims. For decades now, this government has sold out our American worker, sent our jobs overseas to foreign countries. We've opened our borders wide open to be flooded with illegals coming into our country. There you go, everybody. It took just two minutes for Marjorie Taylor Greene to go from, I really do love you press, to... Marjorie Taylor Greene then spends five minutes recounting the tales of individual American citizens who were killed by, quote, illegal aliens. See, Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't against the killing of another human being. She's only against the killing of another human being if that human being was born on the other side of an imaginary line. We need to be able to protect our children with good guys with guns, just like the people up here protected themselves with 30,000 National Guard troops. Imagine that. They want to leave our children defenseless, but they will surround this place with a big, beautiful border wall. And a oh, 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 oh. Now she's against border walls. You see, a record number of Americans voted for President Trump. Apparently, 74 million votes is a record number, but... 81 million, not so much? This impeachment trial that's going to happen next week is a circus. It's a circus that allows media companies to get lots of clicks, lots of views, and sell ad dollars. And you know what? That's pretty disgusting too. So apparently now she's against advertising and capitalism. She's also against clicks. By the way, she pushes her Twitter account very heavily. Uh, did you happen to see her most recent fundraiser that she put up on her Twitter account? There you go. There's the picture of Ilan Omar she used to raise $100,000 in donations to defend her seat. For the record, defending her seat costs $0, and Ilan Omar has absolutely no control over what happened to her. But she still put Ilan Omar in the tweet to rile up her base. I wonder why. She hates Muslims. You know what the media does? And you guys are great at it. And I'm telling you this because I want to like you. But you're doing a really good job at addicting our nation to hate. Teaching people to hate people like me. Yeah. Hate is the media's fault. Not... Did you miss the four minutes in the beginning when I told you all the shit she said in public? But no, it's the media's fault that people are hateful. Apparently, the media forced her to say a whole bunch of racist and anti-Semitic shit. Damn you, media. Why did you do that to her? She's a sweet, innocent person. She's a mother. She's a business owner. She's a wife. You know how I know? Because she won't stop fucking telling me. None of us are perfect. And when we, when we go about our life thinking that we are, we're such hypocrites. Truthfully, we really are. If we think we're perfect and can judge one another, that's such a mistake. Now, of course, it's not a mistake when she judges people who are black and wear sheets for being a bunch of Muslim radicals who want to mangle people's vaginas. But please, do go on. We've got Joe Biden writing executive order after executive order, sign him, sign him, sign him, doing whatever he wants up there in the White House. Oh, executive orders are tyrannical, really? Let's check the stats. Donald Trump wrote more executive orders per year than any president in the last four decades. When he does it, it's a gift from God. When Joe Biden does it, it's a tyrannical communist government. So if you put all of this together, Here's the basic shtick. Marjorie Taylor Greene wants you to know that she might have said a whole bunch of stuff in the past, 
but that she has apologized to God and that God has forgiven her and nobody else can be her judge. Ergo, it's now a clean slate going forward. And going forward, she's not going to peddle conspiracy theories. She's just going to be the embodiment of the far Christian right and a stand-in for Donald Trump. She understands what all other people who crave power understand. That when a powerful person leaves their position, there is a vacuum. And everybody is rushing headlong into that space to fill the vacuum with as much of themselves as possible. And overnight, Marjorie Taylor Greene, somebody who literally understands nothing, has become one of the most powerful Republicans in the United States Congress. I promise you, she's not going away and she's only gonna get louder. Just ask Marjorie Taylor Greene. Even she'll tell you, her with an AR-15 in the halls of Congress is the absolute worst nightmare for all you other brown people in the same job. Well played, Marjorie Taylor Greene. We're going to keep our eye on you. It's not going to be hard because you're always dancing in front of a camera. So until next time, my name is James. I'm from the internet and I'm out. Peace.